What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today I'm super fucking excited to talk about this movie that I had no idea was going to be so good. And that movie is Making Monsters. What the f***? So Making Monsters apparently was made in 2019 and it just came out recently. So it took a couple of years to get distribution. Whoever the fuck was not fucking thinking about putting this out for distribution needs to get fired because this movie's sick. Like, I loved it, dude. Like, I... It's a lot to go uh, explain and there's going to be a lot that I can't explain, but there is going to be... Me telling you to trust me because I don't get this excited normally for some movies. So I'm trying not to get too out of control, but I'm super excited and I can't wait to talk to you about this. So what is Making Monsters? It's about a YouTuber who is a, you know, social media prankster. You know, those kind of douchebaggy guys that you see that jump out and scare their girlfriend all the time. Sometimes they're like really fake and sometimes they're really funny or sometimes they're just like annoying as shit. This wife and her husband, she's the one that gets scared all the time and he's the one that goes out there and scares her and it's made this like wonderful winning combination for these 10 million subscribers where he's making all this money and everything well they meet up with a friend and they invite them out to their house at this church and they're like wait you live in a church and they're like yeah come out and hang out with us so the backstory is is that she's trying to get pregnant and she wants to move away from the prankster thing so this is like the perfect opportunity for the, her prankster husband to pull pranks on her in this house. And what happens is something I just cannot even explain to you because I wouldn't want to ruin it for you. But that's the premise of the story. First off, the idea of a, an annoying YouTuber doing this is kind of one of those things where you're like, oh, I, these unlikable characters, you think. But somehow they make these characters in this movie insanely enjoyable like the character work on these guys are really good and really entertaining and i actually kind of like all of the characters so now to give you guys kind of an idea on who made this movie justin harding and rob bruner i believe i'm saying the name properly are two working directors who have been doing shows like the amazing race like cashed out and a few other TV shows that, you know, working directors typically do. And I'll tell you what, I think this is kind of like a winning combination. I don't know what it is about working directors, but when they get their first feature film like these guys did, it seems like they really fucking nail it. And uh, I think it's just all that suppressed anger <laughs> from having to be forced to do these kinds of things for so long. It's like, it's either make it or break it, guys. We got to go all out. This movie is also written by Justin Harding, who is one of the co-directors, and he's done a couple of other shorts that I have not seen, but I'm totally interested in on board to check them out now. We have a couple of stars in this movie that I'm not really familiar with, although one of them does seem kind of familiar. Jonathan Craig is that person, and he, I think, is one of the top two performers in this movie as far as acting goes. You got Alana Elmer, who's also in this movie, who is fucking fantastic in this movie. My God, she's absolutely just. She looks great on screen. She's done. Her acting is really good. And she's just a scream queen through and through. Like, but I just fell in love with her and Jonathan in particular. Don't get me wrong. Tim Loden's in this movie and he does a fantastic job, too. But those two, I think there's something just something about them that just made me really enjoy their performances. Now, obviously, this movie does have some twists, and I will avoid spoiling any of them because I want you guys to enjoy this movie. It is absolutely insanely brutal. It is insanely funny at times and insanely creepy at times. Like, the practical effects that they do in this film are damn good, and the jokes, the dark comedy that's in this film is fucking superb it is like the perfect balance of all of these things which is weird 
to say because this movie has such a weird tonal kind of thing going for it like you're not sure how to take it like is this gonna be douchey bro kind of like YouTube prankster style, which they kind of do that with some of the music in here. The score, holy shit. This score is phenomenal for this movie. It, it's, it's weird because like if I saw this from afar and I had to score the, the movie, it, it would be very difficult for me to pick specific tones. And so I think what they decided to do is go with each individual scene and what was happening. But it's got this sort of, the movie in general too, lighthearted, twisted, dark, whimsical sort of horror thing going for it, which is, I can't imagine easy to pull off, but they did it. And I, I don't know how they did it because I was just like laughing at some parts and I was like cheering at other parts and reeling in horror in other parts while like turning away at some of these gory fucking moments. But man, is it just a well-encapsulated film. This is about an 85-minute film, so about 80 minutes. Uh, so it is a little bit on the short end, but it is perfectly paced the whole time. Like, usually when I watch a movie, like, there's like a certain amount of allowance that I have to give a movie in the very beginning, you know, when nothing's really happening and we're just kind of getting to know the characters. But the, the flow of it really felt like very good very well done like not just by the acting and the direction but also by the editing that was done on this film so they're like a multi-pronged approach on this film where this twist goes the multiple twists that you do get is fantastic like it's awesome i loved it and they don't even go hey we made a we made a twist here they just kind of do it and like move on which is like it's not patting itself on the back about it it just does it. And then you're just like, what the fuck is happening? And it, it keeps you kind of curious the whole fucking ride, the whole fucking. And this is a ride, guys. I would definitely say this is a one hell of a ride. I'm like gushing about this and it is hard for me. I'm trying to like, you know, curb my enthusiasm, so they say. But I'm like sitting on a nine, maybe even a 9.5. This is without a doubt going on my list for top horror movies of the year unless we have a blowout year uh, this is gonna be pretty fucking high up there if i haven't convinced you enough to fucking rent this six dollar and 99 cent fucking movie it's ten dollars to own if you know me you might want to take that risk if not go ahead and chip in fucking 6.99 and watch it 100 percent approved on rental on that i'd pay this twice i'm probably going to because i hope that they put out a blu-ray for this because i'm buying that thing i want to know all about how they made this movie the performances just shine the jokes are hilarious the the mystery is really good the creepiness is fucking creepy and it's just such an odd mix of all of these wonderful things happening at the same time that just make a great movie and you know maybe you guys don't feel the same way as me and that's fine everybody has their own opinions but right now i'm pretty fucking happy with the horror genre and i think justin and rob and everyone involved did an amazing job so fucking kudos to you guys for making a kick-ass film I fucking loved it. Other than that, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And if you've seen this movie or you're going to watch this movie or you saw the trailer and didn't think much of it like I did at first, go see this movie. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And as always, long live the void.